Hello friends, this video on crop production and management part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now the question is how is irrigation done? How exactly do we water the field? Because the fields which we are talking about they are huge fields. So if we want to water those fields, I mean manually if we want to water those fields it is again going to be a tedious job. However there were methods, traditional methods of irrigation. Now these days have come up some modern methods of irrigation as well. So let us quickly have a look at them. So different types of irrigation methods are used depending on the different water resources because there has to be some source of water. To water such a big field we need enough water. There has to be some source from where we will fetch the water. So it could be wells, it could be canals, it could be river lift systems or it could be tanks. These, any of these could act as water resources and they can be used as sources for irrigating a particular field. So let us now look at the irrigation methods. Now some of one of the common irrigation methods are wells. So wells were from where do they get water? They utilize the ground water. So what are wells? They are nothing but uh, a depression on the land which is dug deep inside. So it is dug so deep inside that it reaches the level of ground water. So, so it extracts the ground water and water is lifted from the wells by pumps for irrigation. So we actually bring the ground water and then that water is applied to the fields. Now how water is applied to the field? Now, there can be many different possibilities. One option is that maybe the farmers can manually carry the water and then apply it on the fields. So that it will involve a lot of time, that will be a slow process and it will also involve a lot of labor. So as you can see here, so if this is the ground water, so this is the well, so you have a lot of water here and a motor is fitted here. So this motor will bring the water up. Now once the water is brought here and then it is, there is a big reservoir. Reservoir is nothing but a storehouse. It is like a container which stores water. So whatever water comes out of this well that is stored in this big reservoir and from this reservoir it is then sent to the fields. Now it, it may be through pipes or it may happen manually or whatever way. So that is how the fields can be watered. So that is one way. That, that is one irrigation method. The next method could be the canals. So as you can see these are the canals which can act as good source of water and then the water from these canals can be used to irrigate the nearby field. Another could be the river lift systems that is water is drawn directly from rivers for irrigation in nearby areas. Like it is just that the concept will remain the same just that the well is replaced by a river. So instead of the well you have the river and the water is lifted using pumps which are fitted within the river, river lift systems and then that water is used for watering the nearby fields. Another methods could be tanks. Tanks are artificial water reservoirs used for irrigation. So here you can see a big tank is there so which contains a lot of water. So water coming out of it can be sent throughout the field using pipes. So these, these are some of the very common irrigation methods which were used even in the traditional days. Maybe in the traditional days uh, when the lift systems or when the pump motor and all were not there. So in that case it, it was actually spread to the entire field manually. So these were some of the traditional irrigation methods. There are certain disadvantages associated with the traditional methods of irrigation. For example, too much of human labor is involved because here we are not watering a small garden. We are talking about huge fields. So if we imagine that a person or a group of person, uh, they are trying to irrigate the entire field, even that involves too much of human labor, which is not worth it. It is less efficient because in this case, it is it, it, it depends on the human being. So maybe some part of the field gets more water, some part of the field gets less water because it is not uh, something which has been automated. It depends on human beings. Now sometimes it might also happen that some part of the field was missed getting water. So that means also the process of uh, applying water to the field is less efficient.
wastage of water because we will not know exactly how much water needs to be provided to the field maybe some places we will put some extra water or maybe while carrying the water from one place to another some of the water will uh, just fall off and will get wasted so that means also a lot of wastage will be involved so as you can see in this picture so this person is bringing the water out of this well and then he is actually manually irrigating the field thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.